In the world of air combat, a silent, deadly chess match is being played. In one corner stands Russia's S-400 Triumph, a shield that claims it can spot even invisible aircraft from hundreds of kilometers away. In the other, the apex predators of the sky, stealth aircraft like the F-35, designed to be ghosts. So, who really rules the skies? On one side, the S-400 is a mobile fortress designed to seal off huge chunks of airspace. On the other, stealth jets like the F-22 and F-35 are flying networks of sensors built to see first, shoot first, and get home safely. The question is simple. Does the unbreakable shield actually break, or does the unstoppable spear get caught? Act 1. The Challenger. The S-400's strengths. What makes the S-400 so feared? First, its incredible reach. It fires a family of missiles, with the 40N6E advertised to hit targets 400 kilometers away, though that's a best-case scenario against a large, non-maneuvering target like a bomber. Against a nimble fighter, the range is shorter, but it still creates dangerous rings an attacker must cross. Second, and most importantly, is its radar. A large surveillance radar, nicknamed Big Bird, can spot conventional planes from up to 600 kilometers away. The S-400's main claim against stealth comes from using lower frequency radar bands. While high frequency radar, what's needed for a missile lock, is deflected by a stealth jet's shape, lower frequency waves can sometimes get a faint blip back. It's not a clear picture and not enough to shoot at, but it's an early warning that is out there. Finally, its versatility. A single S-400 battery is mobile and can track and engage dozens of targets at once, from jets to ballistic missiles. On paper, it's the ultimate defender. On paper, it's the ultimate defender. Act 2. The Defender. The power of stealth. How do you beat a system that claims to see the unseeable? With a different playbook called Stealth. Stealth isn't an invisibility cloak. It's a suite of technologies designed to delay detection. By using special shapes and radar-absorbent materials, a stealth fighter like the F-35 shrinks its radar signature from the size of a truck to that of a golf ball. But stealth is truly an offensive tool. An F-35 isn't just hard to see, it's a powerful sensor platform. It can detect the S-400's radar emissions long before the S-400 can get a solid lock on it. This gives the pilot the ultimate advantage, the ability to see first and shoot first, firing weapons from outside the enemy's most lethal engagement zone. The attacker decides when and where the fight begins. Act 3. The Chess Match – How the Fight Plays Out A one-on-one -on -one duel is for debates. Real war is a team sport. The fight is between two massive networks. The S-400's low-frequency radars might detect that Stealthy is in the area, but that's like hearing a twig snap in a dark forest. You know something's there, but you can't get a weapons-grade lock precise enough to guide a missile. This is where the anti-S-400 playbook opens up. First. Electronic warfare planes like the EA-18G Growler create digital noise to blind the S-400's operators. Then comes the knockout blow, a coordinated attack called Suppression of Enemy Air Defenses, or SEAD. Stealth fighters sneak close enough to fire anti-radiation missiles, weapons designed to home in on a radar's signal. This puts the S-400 crew in a terrible bind. Keep your radar on to shoot. 
and the missile kills you. Turn it off, and you're blind. At the same time, swarms of cheap drones and cruise missiles can be sent to make the S-400 waste its expensive interceptors. While the S-400 has been a serious threat in conflicts, real-world events have cast doubt on its invincible reputation. There are zero independently verified reports of an S-400 shooting down a fifth-generation stealth fighter. Conversely, there are multiple confirmed reports of S-400 components being destroyed in Ukraine by drones and precision missiles. We're talking about decades of military evolution, and the game is always changing. If you're finding this breakdown of modern military tech useful, do us a solid and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Your support helps us keep making content that goes beyond the headlines. So, who wins this chess match? It's not about which piece of hardware is better, but who's the better player? The S-400 is a highly capable air defense system. Flying older, non-stealthy jets into its kill zone is a suicide mission. However, the idea that it makes advanced stealth aircraft obsolete is a myth. Stealth is a philosophy of war, combining low observability with superior sensors and network-first tactics. When a stealth force is used as part of a coordinated plan, with jamming and standoff weapons, it holds a clear advantage, striking from the shadows before the defender gets a good look. In the 21st century, air dominance is won by the most adaptable network. The cat-and-mouse game of seeing versus hiding is only getting more complex, with AI, hypersonic weapons, and drone swarms rewriting the rules of the game all over again. What do you think is the future of air dominance? Let us know in the comments. And for more deep dives into the tech that shapes our world, check out the video on your screen now. Thanks for watching.